katika eneo hili akuje tu alete rambi rambi alafu tuendelee kutoka hapo na mimi nakuomba tu utakuwa brief ndio tuendelee kutoka hapo Asante sana basi haya basi kanisa letu takatifu familia ya baba yangu Murunga His Excellency the Deputy President our brother former Prime Minister Raila Molo Odinga His Excellency the Governor of Kakamega His Excellency the Governor of Bungoma our elder brother Msalia Mdavadi the party leader of Ford Kenya who is also our brother Moses Wetangula not Moses Wetangula I'm sorry my brother Na wale wote ambao wamekuja hapa kutusaidia kuomboleza matanga ya baba yangu Mungu asifiwe Asalamu alaikum Basi vile nephew wangu hapa wa Shale amenena mimi nitakuwa mfupi sana kwa maneno Huyu ambaye amefarika amefariki ni baba yangu mimi Na mimi nataka nichukue fursa hii kwa niaba ya wawanga wote ambao wako hapa Kusema ya kwamba nachukua fursa hii kwa shukuru viongozi wote ambao wamekuja hapa na wale wote ambao wamekuja hapa kujumuika na sisi kumlaza roho ya baba yetu na mimi nataka niseme hivi jameni sisi kama jamii ya wawanga tumepoteza pakubwa sana huyu mzee Mrunga ambaye amepotea kwangu mimi alikuwa baba yangu na alikuwa rafiki yangu sana na mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba kwa hii jamii ya wawanga itatuchukua tena muda mrefu sana kumpata tena mtu mwingine kama baba yangu Mrunga Mrunga vile mnajua alikuwa mtu ambaye hakuwa muoga Mrunga ungemwambia hapa kuna hatari atakwambia hapo ndio utanipata na vile mnajua hata mimi ukiniambia hapa kuna hatari hapo ndio utanipata kwa hivyo sisi kama jamii ya wawanga tumepoteza mahali pakubwa sana na kifo cha baba yangu alipofariki yenye vijana mtulie bana relax baba yangu alipofariki mimi nilikuwa kwa nyumba hapa nikaambiwa ya kwamba mzee Mrunga amefariki na mimi nikatoka hapo nikaenda moja kwa moja mpaka pale Mochari St Mary's Luckily nikapata nephew wangu wa shali huyu alikuwa shafika hapo. Tukapata mwili umelazwa hapo. Na mzee akakuwa amefariki. Tuliketi hapo mochari kuanzia saa tatu ya usiku mpaka saa tisa na nusu. Tukitafuta njia vile mzee anaweza safirishwa aende Nairobi. Kwa sababu tulikuwa tumeambiwa ya kwamba tutaambiwa nini kimemuua wakati atapelekwa kule Nairobi muda ile gari ambayo ilitumwa tukapata ni ambulance tu imetumwa na haina hata sanduku mimi nikasema hii haitawezekana kwa sababu hata kama baba yangu mwenyewe angekuwa mzima hangekubali kufungwa na makamba na akimbizwe kwa barabara paka Nairobi nikasema nyinyi mungoje ifiki asubuhi tuone vile tutafanya asubuhi yake nikaambiwa ya kwamba Parliament Refugee Commission wametuma a VIP van na sanduku mimi nikasema kama wametuma VIP van na sanduku then that's okay kwenda pale nikapata hiyo yenye inaitwa VIP van but kwangu mimi kuangalia niliona ile ilikuwa land tu ya polisi ya yeah. nikasema ni sawa kwa vile sasa mikono zetu zimekuwa fupi wacha baba yetu atembee kwa barabara baba yetu ametembea kwa barabara 12 good hours 
kutoka hapa Western mpaka Nairobi. Na hiyo yote ikifanyika ndugu zangu tuko na marafiki, tuko na mandugu wenye wanajiweza. Sasa mimi nikaanza kujiuliza kama baba yangu mjumbe ako na marafiki, ako na mandugu na colleagues wake ambao ni wabunge. Anaweza tembea 12 good hours paka Nairobi. Je, mimi tu mtu raia nitakuwa namna gani kifo ikinipata? Leo vile tuko hapa na ndugu zangu wabunge kutoka Western kwa heshima kubwa sisi tunawaheshimu na mmechaguliwa na hawa wananchi. Na nyinyi kila siku mnasema Luya Unity, Luya Unity tukuje pamoja. Jameni mara ya kwanza viongozi sisi wa Luya tuache kulia watu wa nje. Sisi viongozi wa Luya tumejaibisha. Tumejaibisha mali pakubwa sana. Kwa sababu hawa wabunge wa Western Province they are over 43. Kama mungechanga tu shilingi 1220, 20, tungepata ndege ya ku airlift baba yetu Murunga paka Nairobi. Ha? Sasa saa hizi naona wamevaa makoti za umboto wamejaa hapa. Ha? Na manotes kidogo kidogo. Kukuja hapa sasa kwanza kutuambia oh he was a good man oh he was generous that is hypocrisy my good people that is hypocrisy tuache hiyo pili pili wakati baba yangu amefika Nairobi tukaambiwa ya kwamba sasa tunataka tuambiwe ni nini haswa kimeua baba yetu mimi nikapigia wakili simu na nikapigia daktari simu na nikaambia pia George make sure wakati hiyo postmortem inafanywa wakili wetu wako hapo daktari wetu wako hapo muda si nadra tunaambiwa ya kwamba sasa ripoti ya covid imetolewa hiyo mwili iweze fanyiwa postmortem na mmesikia mama akieleza hapa. Huyu mama huyu ndio mke wa mheshimiwa. Kama kweli mheshimiwa alikuwa na covid na covid ndio ilimuua. Mbona huyu mama hajapelekwa isolation? Huyu mrunga alikuwa na bodyguard, alikuwa na pie. None of them tumesikia amepelekwa isolation. Wakati baba yangu anakufa mimi mimi na huyu washali tulikuwa kwa huo mwili na over thousand people kwa huo mwili I don't I did not see sub chief sikuona chief hata liguru hakukuwa hapo Sijasikia hapa matungu ati wale watu walikuwa naangalia huo mwili ati kuna mtu ana covid hapa Usi? Kwa hivyo sisi kama familia na sisi kama jamii ya wawanga bado tuko na maswali ya kuuliza serikali yetu ya nchi ya Kenya. We, we are not satisfied. Kama huu mwili ungefanywa postmortem, then hapa tuko convinced kweli baba yetu alikufa covid. Kwa hivyo jameni, mwisho kabisa mama yuko hapa. And you know me I'm one man who calls a spade a spade. Mmesikia haya mambo yote ambayo yaliwekwa ma TV? ya kwamba kuna mama fulani enda kotini kutafuta sivyo court order and what have you wakati mimi niko hapa nyumbani mimi nikapigia aunti yangu Hadija nikamuuliza ni nini haswa inaendelea Nairobi akaniambia kuna mama hapa ameenda kotini na sasa kuna court order ambayo haitaturuhusu kuzika mzee baadaye tena aunti yangu Hadija ananipigia simu Ananiambia jaribu upigie mama. There is a problem. Sisi tunafikiria yule mama kwa pekee kaenda kotini lakini kuna mmoja ya marafiki wa mheshimiwa Murunga ndio mwenye amepatia huyo huyo mama wakili 
na ndio mwenye anasukuma kisha ya kwamba lazima pesa itolewe baadaye 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 mama ananipigia simu anasema mheshimiwa Halwale ananiambia ya kwamba nipeane shilingi elfu mbili ndio kesi itolewe kotini sasa mama akakuwa analia nyinyi ndio marafiki wa Murunga nyinyi ndio mngechanga pesa mwakisha ya kwamba mmelipa huyo mama huyo mama asiendelee na kesi mimi mama mjane nitapata wapi pesa ya kulipa ndio tutolewe tutupewe mwili wetu kutoka kwa mochari so my brother Halwale with due respect mimi ndo nilikushika mkono na kupeleka kwa ofisi ya naibu wa rais. Na kuambia leo yale yote umefanyia jamii yetu ya wawanga. Kwa niaba ya wawanga mimi nasema tumekusamea wewe Halwale. We have forgiven you. Or luck. Mwisho kabisa. Mwisho kabisa. Mwisho kabisa. Tuko hapa na naibu wetu wa rais. Na tuko hapa na ndugu yetu former prime minister. Na tuko hapa na ndugu yetu msalia Mdavat. Mimi kuna jambo moja nataka niseme la siasa. Mzee Raila huyu ambaye ndugu yetu hapa hawa viongozi ambao wameketi hapa mimi nikiwa mmoja wao sisi sote ni ma student wa huyu mzee Raila Odinga kuanzia kwa ndugu yangu naibu wa rais Musali Mdavadi washali huyu sisi sote ni students wa huyu mzee ile mimi nataka niseme hapa kwa matanga ya baba yangu Ningeliomba ndugu zangu wale mmeketi hapa kwa heshima kubwa. Nchi yetu iko mahali pabaya. Nchi yetu haiko mahali pazuri. Na nyinyi ndio viongozi wale sisi tunaangalia. Na leo sasa nyinyi wote muko hapa. Si wako hapa wote. Mzee Raila sisi tunakuomba kwa heshima kubwa. Wewe ni baba yetu. Na vile mimi nimepiga rada, hii maneno vile nimeangalia. 2007 hii ndio ilikuwa timu ya Pentagon ni kweli si kweli na hawa wote si walikuwa nataka kiti kuje pande hii itoke pande ile sasa mimi nataka niwapatie siri kidogo hapa mimi naomba hivi leo hapa sisi Kakamega County ama Western Province tuko na ndugu yetu Msalia tuko na His Excellency Governor Oparanya na mnajua sasa uparanya huyu amekuwa mjumbe two terms amekuwa waziri amekuwa governor two terms sasa hii ni chama ni ya magovernor Kenya mzima si huyu mwanaume yako na CV na si mnajua yeye ndio deputy party leader ya ODM na si mnajua baba ndio party leader na si mnajua deputy president ni rafiki yetu mimi naomba baba kwa sababu huyu baba lazima tumchunge ni kweli si kweli Mimi naomba tu kwa heshima kubwa baba wewe ni baba yangu Wewe chukua huyo Paranya na William Ruto fungia kwa kona sema hawa wanatosha na wakishachukua serikali Mnajua ndugu yetu msali yako hapo wetangu lako hapo na mimi niko hapo nitashikilia shikilia kwa sababu hata mimi nimekuwa waziri si hii game itakuwa imeisha jameni? Wangapi wanasema hawa wangu wana waketi pamoja? Kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kunena kuzidi hapo. Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais. Asante sana kwa kuja kusimama na rafiki yako. Wewe ni rafiki yetu. Mheshimiwa prime minister. Asante sana kwa kuja kuzika ndugu yako. Na vile nimesema hapa Mnajua wakati William na huyo Paranya na msali wa kiketi wachukua serikali maziwa yote top cream hakuna mtu mwingine anaguza kama baba jaguza. So mnajua hivyo? Hey. Baba asante sana.
kwa kuchukua nafasi yako kuja kulia na baba yangu Mheshimiwa Paranya asante sana umesimama na baba yangu kutoka Fariki tunataka tuseme asante sana Mheshimiwa Msalia Mdavadi asante sana umesimama na sisi tangu baba yangu akufe yale yote umetufanyia tunasema asante sana ndugu yangu Moses Wetangula asante sana ndugu yangu Spika asante sana ndugu yangu kuja kuzika baba yangu na mwisho kabisa naibu wa rais kwa niaba ya familia na kwa niaba ya wawanga tunakutuma upeleke asante yetu kubwa sana kwa niaba ya jamii hii kwa mheshimiwa rais Uhuru Kenyatta ambaye alituma condolence messages ya, message yake kwa familia na yule mchango ambaye alipeana tunataka tuseme asante sana your excellency deputy president thank you very much god bless your people Basi. basi basi um cs aongee kidogo kwa sababu ni mmoja wa jamii wale watakuja kufuata baadaye wajaribu wa manage time yao ndio tuweze kuzingatia mahitaji ya minutes of health ndio tuende haraka sasa basi nataka nichukue nafasi hii kuita mwenyekiti wa ad hoc committee of parliament ndugu yetu mheshimiwa wanava holo ndugu yetu Emmanuel Wangwe akuja atuzungumzie kidogo na tusomee ujumbe kutoka kwa speaker wa national assembly welcome asante sana Asante sana Mheshimiwa Washali, Your Excellency the Deputy President, Your Excellency the Prime Minister, all protocol observed. Mirembe Lundi. Mirembe kya Mheshimiwa Murunga. Mirembe. Nitachukua muda kidogo sana. Tuko na wajumbe wengi hapa. Na tuko na viongozi wengi. Na mimi kama aliyekuwa chairman wa ad hoc committee kwanza ni shukuru bunge la kitaifa chini ya mheshimiwa speaker Justin Muturi kutupatia nafasi hii na niko na kamati yangu yote ambayo ilishughulikia haya maneno naomba kamati ya ad hoc committee in the national assembly kindly move forward for introduction nitawatambua tu kwa majina lakini msimame tafadhali angalau naibu rais ajue wale watu ambao wamesimamia matanga haya On my right your excellency ni senator Petronila Were nominated senator ANC Next is the woman rep for Kakamega County honorable Elsie Muhanda Asante sana mheshimiwa Next is mheshimiwa Bernard Shinali the MP for Ikolomana and chairman the caucus of parliamentarians Kakamega County Thank you mheshimiwa Next is mheshimiwa Omboko Milemba the MP for Emuhaya Thank you mheshimiwa and my co-chair honorable uh, senator Cleophas Malala who was also the co-chair for this co uh, ad hoc committee and then i don't forget you as faithful here the honorable Ben Jomo Washali who was also a member of the committee your excellency allow me now to introduce my colleagues in the national assembly there are very many in number we have really come here to mourn our colleague and because we are many and we have our leaders here I beg that you just adhere to Simame ni watambue kwa majina from a distance I can see all of you from wherever you are kindly stand up my colleagues and you can come forward so that the members uh, the congregation can see you and even the deputy president prime minister can see you where you are
These are members of the National Assembly. Now that there is no any other uh, next mic, from my immediate left here is the Honorable uh, Tindi Mwale, the MP for Butere. Next is Honorable Bernard Shinali, the MP for Ikolomani. Next is Honorable Catherine Wabilianga. The... Next is Honorable Elsie Mohanda, the County MP for Kakamega. Unfortunately, we move forward. Next is Honorable Beatrice Adagala, the MP for Vihika County. Next is Honorable Christopher Seka, the MP for Huisero. Next is Honorable Brighton Yegon, the MP for Konoin. Next is Honorable Mwambu Mabonga, the MP for Bumula. Next is Makoha Odanga, the MP for Matayos. Next is the MP, Honorable Alfred Agoi, MP for Sabatia. Next is my neighbor, Bishop Titus Hamala, the MP for Lurambi. Next is Honorable Malulu Injendi, the MP for Malava. Next is an MP and Commissioner, Honorable Momanyi Ben, the MP for Borabu. Next is Honorable Didmas Barasa, the MP for Kimilili. Next is Honorable Janet Nangabo, the County MP for Transoya. Next is Engineer Tandasa Kasim Sawa, the MP for Matuga. Next is Honorable Nyamoko, the MP for, from Kisi County, Nyamira County. Thank you very much. Next is Honorable Osotsi Godfrey, nominated MP for ANC. Next is Honorable Janet Sitienei, the MP for Tarbo, who is also the MP for the Deputy President. Next is Honorable Sakwa Bunyasi, the MP for Nambale, and finally Honorable David Ocheng, the MP for Ugenya. Oh, we have, we have two colleagues behind. We have Honorable Dr. Chris Wamalwa, the MP for Kiminini. We have Honorable Omulele, who is also my speaker, Christopher, MP for Luanda, and finally Major Retired. Honorable John Waluke, MP for Sirisia. We also have former MPs. If they are there, we all put them together. And the way they were spoken under by Mwishmua Rashid, we have Honorable David Were is here and others. Allow me now to proceed and just make one appreciation. Allow me, Your Excellencies, to really appreciate all of you who supported this course. We were fully supported by you individually in terms of financial input. We want to say, I as the chairman, I want to acknowledge your financial input and even your personal advices to my committee. I want to single out particularly to appreciate Parliamentary Service Commission for the full support as we stand here. Parliamentary Service Commission funded the whole process right from Umias to Nairobi and the expenses wherever we are today. It was funded fully by Parliamentary Service Commission. I want to say to our employer, who is also here and will read the message from them as an employer, I want to say thank you very much. I want to appreciate my colleagues and the senators as Parliament of Kenya. The 416 members, Your Excellencies, they really contributed money and that money has been fully accounted for by the family. Mine was to make sure I transmit the money to the family. On that point, allow me to really, really appreciate the MPs who are senators and members of the National Assembly. At that point, Honorable uh, Your Excellencies, I have been sent on behalf of the National Assembly that Honorable Murunga really had a desire. Who was Honorable Murunga in the House? What was his desire? And it's important for the people of Matungu to listen to this speech by the Speaker of the National Assembly. Allow me to read it. Condolence message to the family and friends of the late Matungu MP, Honorable Justice Murunga Makoha. It is with great shock and profound sorrow that I receive the news of the untimely demise of Honorable Justice Murunga Makoha. Member of Parliament for Matungu Constituency on the evening of Saturday, 14th November 2020. At the National Assembly, as the Fraternity of Parliament, 
we mourn a lawmaker who was charismatic, jovial, and of diligent personality, and one who possessed a great sense of humor, which he would so innovatively employ to ease tension mom tense moments. Honorable Murunga was very passionate in the articulation of issues concerning the great people of Matungo constituency, whom he served with utmost diligence and commitment. He was a committed member of the Departmental Committee on Agriculture and Livestock, where he passionately advocated for various issues, particularly in the tea and sugar sectors. Among the issues that he so vehemently championed for are the non-payment of farmers for public sugar mills, increased cost of sugar production, lack of markets for sugar, failure to control imports and exports of sugar, and poor management of sugar companies. It is unfortunate that the cruel hand of death has grabbed him from our midst before the sugar bill 2019 was passed. The objective of the bill is to re-establish the Kenya Sugar Board, the Sugar Development Levy, and Sugar Development Fund, all which aim at formulating a regulatory framework to address the issues the led for. He was also an active member of the Committee on Parliamentary Broadcasting and Library. We shall forever remember him as a hardworking and visionary leader who relentlessly supported projects aimed at uplifting the welfare of his constituents. His commitment to uplift the living standards of his people was heartwarming to his constituents and the country at large. On behalf of all the members of the National Assembly, the Parliamentary Service Commission, staff of Parliament, and indeed on my own behalf, I wish to take this opportunity to honor his legacy of diligent leadership. We sincerely condole with the family of our late brother, Honorable Justice Murunga, his constituents of Matungu, his friends, and indeed the people of Kenya for the loss of his great legislator at this trying moment. At the National Assembly, we assure the family of our support during this period of great sorrow. Signed, Honorable Justin B.N. Muturi, EGH MP, Speaker of the National Assembly and the Chairperson, Parliamentary Service Commission. Thank you very much. And at that point, I wish to say thank you and let's proceed. Asante. Asante, sir. Ad hoc committee of the National Assembly. I want now to request our Senator Malala to come and also introduce his counterparts in the Senate. Welcome, Mwashimiwa. Uh, asante tutalipa. <laughs> Nitapatia Rashid ataleta. Aya bas, wakazi wa matungu mlembe bosi. Ebu nione salamu kwa yao buwana yesu asifiwe. God is good. And all the time. Asante sana naibu wa rais wa jamuri ya Kenya. Your Excellency Right Honorable Raila Molo Odinga. My party leader, Msali Amdabadi. Mwishimiwa Moses Wetangula na viongozi wote ambao wamefika hapa. Leo hii mimi nimekuja hapa kuomboleza na familia. Vile mwishimiwa Murunga aliaga, mimi nilisikia uchungu sana. Kwa sababu mwishimiwa Washiali alinipigia simu usiku. Haka niambia kwamba tumempoteza ndugu yetu. Nilisikia uchungu kabisa na mimi nikasema kwamba yeye kama ndugu yetu na kama baba yetu mimi mheshimiwa murunga amekuwa wa karibu sana kwangu mimi kwa sababu vile nilikuwa MCA na nikataka kusimama kiti cha useneta ni mheshimiwa murunga alinishika mkono akanitembeza hapa matungu so mimi kibinafsi nimepoteza rafiki wa dhati na mimi nafurahia mheshimiwa murunga and I want to celebrate him Kwa sababu alikuwa mtu wa msimamo. Yeye alikuwa naamua kama ni left, ni left. Na kama ni right, ni right. Hata kama msimamo wake ya uwelewani na wako. Yeye alikuwa mtu wa msimamo. Na ndiposa leo, nataka kuselebrate mwishimi wa murunga. 
tukiwa hapa Mumias na Murunga alikuwa na passion moja ambayo leo sijasikia watu wakiongea hapa passion ya mheshimiwa Murunga ilikuwa Mumias Sugar Company ifanye kazi na leo hii mzuri na Mwenyezi Mungu ametuleta hapa sisi sote tuko katika nucleus shamba ya Mumias Sugar Company na viongozi wote ambao wanaweza saidia Mumias ifufuke ama isifufuke pia wako hapa na sisi leo mimi nataka kuomba tafadhali naibu wa rais William Ruto ile zawadi unaweza saidia watu wa mkoa wa magharibi kwa sababu tumehangaika sana kama factory yetu haifanyi kazi rais mimi ningependa kukuomba you are the deputy president of the republic of kenya as much as you are a hustler najua wewe ni mdosi pia tafadhali solution before 2022 Najua kuna aspiration na watu wengi wanataka kuwa marais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Kama watu wa mkoa wa Magharibi, the scorecard that we shall use mkuje mtukie tufufulia Mumias ndio tujue tutapigia nani kura 2022. Kwa sababu sisi hatuwezi endelea kuumia tukipiga kura miaka tano inaisha, ingine inaisha. Msimamo wa pili ambao mheshimiwa Murunga alikuwa nao ni kwa chama chake cha ANC. Kila wakati alikuwa ananiona na yumba yumba, alikuwa ananipigia simu ananisomea kabisa. Na mimi nashukuru yeye aliniweka laini. Mumeona siku hizi niko kwa laini hapo nyuma ya msali anatembea 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 anatembea. Na mimi nataka kuchukua fursa hii niwaambie watu wa mkoa wa Magharibi. Ya kwamba mimi kibinafsi nilikuwa tu MCA mkanipatia nyadhifa nikawa seneta wenyu lakini vile nilifika katika bunge la senate mimi nilipewa nafasi na huyu baba anaitwa Raila Odinga nikawa deputy minority leader nataka kuchukua fursa hii kwa heshima baba kusema kwamba mimi nashukuru sana 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 na nitazidi kukutumikia kama deputy minority leader katika senate tukifika kwa upande wa siasa nashukuru naibu wa rais Raila Molo Dinga na Msali Mdavadi na Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta kuweka Kenya pamoja. Sasa hivi kama haingekuwa ile handshake Kenya ingekuwa imekatika katikati lakini wameweka Kenya pamoja. Sasa hivi tunatulia ni mambo ya kelele kidogo tu na different ideological differences lakini mambo ya amani tuko nayo. Na mimi nashukuru hasua na eh, President Uhuru Kenyatta na Deputy President wa chama cha Jubilee kule msambueni wakati tumepoteza mbunge wa msambueni na tukawa na by election president na deputy president walikaa chini wakasema kwa sababu ya amani ya Kenya yetu waachie chama cha ODM they will not field a candidate in msambueni i want to request prime minister Raila Molo Odinga in the same spirit uhuru kenyata aliacha ODM ka field candidate kule msambueni Leo tukiwa hapa Matungu ningependa kuomba kwa niaba ya ANC ya kwamba kiti cha Matungu kiachiwe chama cha ANC. Na naomba tu ndio tuendelee kufanya kazi pamoja pamoja. Hata kule Bungoma tumempoteza mheshimiwa wa kule Kapchai. Mimi kama ANC I will discourage hata ANC ku field candidate kule Bungoma tutaachia weta yeye achukue hiyo aende naye. That is the only way tunaweza eka waluya pamoja. Na mimi nawaomba waluya tafadhali. Nawaomba. Na nataka kusema hapa bila kuogopa. Nawaomba waluya. Leo vile naibu wa rais ameingia hapa. Mimi damu yangu ilisimama. Niliona mambo sijaona. Niliona security tight. Hata reke wako hapa ndani ile red carpet alipata kutoka kule kwa vumbi paka hapa niliona kweli kuna power mimi naomba waluya pia sisi tusimameko nyuma ya mmoja wetu pia sisi tufiliko hiyo power ambaye leo nimeona naibu wa rais so mheshimiwa mheshimiwa Rashid ndugu yangu mimi ninataka kugeuza line up yako hiyo kidogo line up yako ilikuwa mzuri lakini naona tunaweza pigwa bao line up ambayo mimi ningependa kuomba wa jamii ya waluya ni kwamba sababu baba akisema tosha wewe unatosha sababu sisi tumesimama 
na mheshimiwa Raila sana. Anikoshua kwa ndani ya roho yake anatupenda sana. Mimi ningependa kuomba baba tafadhali. Huyu kijana anaitwa Moses a week leave msalia mdavadi. Yeye ndio amekuwa mbele. Mheshimiwa Oparanya ni mzuri lakini apange tu laini nyuma ya msalia kidogo alafu tusonge mbele. Mimi naomba tafadhali tusonge mbele hivyo. Haya mwisho kabisa. Mwisho kabisa ningependa ku introduce wale maseneta ambao wako hapa na kwa sababu ya muda hawataongea wote ningependa tu wasimame nitaanza na mama signal ako hapa mama Naomi Shionga nominated senator kwa chama cha ODM tuko na tuko na mama Petronila ambaye ni nominated senator kwa chama cha ANC Tuko pia na mheshimiwa Moses wetangu latongea baadaye lakini yeye ni senator wa Bungoma mheshimiwa Moses wetangula wanasema mundu hu mundu si ndio na ni baba yetu pia hapa Tuko na senator George Haniri ambaye yako hapa na yeye sio senator tu yeye pia ni commissioner kwa kwa bunge kule na yeye ndio amefacilitate hii mambo yote ambayo iko hapa nataka kabla nimalize ni mkaribishe apeane hotuba ya parliamentary service commission ndio mimi napanga mheshimiwa relax sasa tuko kwa senate eh, nitaita mama baadaye eh. mimi sasa tuko upper house si ndio sasa tuliza boli kidogo ningependa sasa nikaribishe mheshimiwa George Haniri mbunge wa 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 Viiga seneta wa Viiga akuje aseme jambo alafu tutasonga mbele I'll, I'll, I'll ask mama Elsie to say something after that Viongozi wetu akiwemo makamu wa rais Right Honorable Raila Odinga, my party leader Musalia Mudavadi, my speaker Lusaka, and my brother Moses Wetangula, na viongozi wengine wote jamii mama mjane na wote bandu bi matungu mirembe mirembe. Bandu bi matungu mirembe mirembe. Nimesimamishwa kama mwajiri wa ndugu yangu marehemu Justice Murunga kwa hivyo nitatoa rambi rambi hizo kama mwajiri lakini kwa sababu niko hapa na mimi ni seneta wa Vihiga lazima nilete rambi rambi za watu wa Vihiga nimba na rambi rambi za watu wa Vihiga maambe ni ngosi my people i have come here with a heavy heart to mourn not just a brother not just a member of my party but a friend on my own behalf and on behalf of the people of Vihiga i want to say to the people of Matungu and the family of our departed friend Poleni tunajua machungu ambayo mnapitia lakini tuna imani ya kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu atawafariji the people of Vihiga stand with you. The people of Vihiga mourn with you. Just before I give the official uh, uh, speech from the Parliamentary Service Commission, I want to join my brother. I'll just say two things. As I flew in to come here, nikaangalia kiwanda chetu cha mumiasi, hakuna moshi natoka. This is the backbone of the people of this region. Deputy President Katika manifesto yenu katika uh, campaign yenu ukiwa jubilee wakati hiyo sisi tukiwa NASA tukijaribu kuwa NASA mlitoa ahadi kwa kiwanda hichi Waswahili wanasema ahadi ni nini Bandu banja ahadi ni nini Na dawa ya deni ni nini 
Bwana makamu wa rais hiyo deni itabidi mulipe kabla tuende uchaguzi wa 2022. Itabidi mulipe. Because this is the backbone of our economy in this region. Mumbiasi kififia uchumi wetu umefifia. Sawa sawa. Na makubwa ka kileo ya khabola kena kana nyambole mulweru. Ninze mulweru, mwala ninze mulweru. Numbe ni mwikhale nukundu ko hola lweru. Kukureba bola shinu bola na mangana mba hana za pole tsi abantu babihiga. Ko ambeza wo mwikhale na yoyo na kureba yu mbora na mangana mba. Makubwa ka kileo ya khabola ya ka ndi khuze bandu baluya khwako bza tsingasi tsi bandu bani na khu ni bakhenya khu tukho benya khu tukha iria ni cha kha tukha ikulwe neyo cha kha nyola matunda machiyanga khu chenyene na khuze inzala ni khubwa hasiano khubolanga enough is ne ba he bandu banje khali munyashi mwaibula basaza shibali aha kwani munda badiya na ko kanga Ari nako kanga. Na namba mbili ya nako kanga. Musakulu anako kanga. Kushaliza musaza kuli bandi. Shenyu ni shenyu. Kuhanda ku mwana weru. Na ambula khana khuza kwa tuka kwa akulu yaho kwa hura kulo bandi ba hura bule. Shikali ndio. Nafasi haikuwa yangu kuongea kama senator wa vihiga nafasi ni yangu kama commissioner. Bwana makamu wa rais nilikuwa nawaeleza tu watu wa vihiga wana uzuni sana na mambo ya ambayo imefanyika hapa I will now I will now read the message of condolence from the parliamentary service commission following the untimely demise of honorable justice Murunga Makoha member of parliament for matungu on behalf of the parliamentary service commission i wish to convey our heartfelt condolences to the family relatives and friends following the untimely demise of honorable justice murunga makoha mp as the parliamentary service commission we mourn a colleague a legislator full of charisma amiebo of a good humored personality in honorable murunga we have lost a progressive lawmaker who was full of passion when articulating the challenges faced by farmers as well as those concerning his constituents of matungu constituency whom he served with utmost diligence and commitment as a commission we are deeply sad saddened by his death and in accordance with a prevailing policy we have provided several facilities and services to ensure we give our departed colleague a befitting send off some of these include placing of newspaper advertisements security arrangements both in Nairobi and Matungu air lifting of the body to the burial venue appropriate transport for the two spouses and provision of mega dome where we are seated now for the burial ceremony among other services and facilities the commission has noted with gratitude the cooperation of the family throughout the planning of the send off of our dear brother as a commission we look forward and commit to working with the family to ensure all necessary facilitation in accordance with the parliamentary bereavement policy is done in an expeditious manner on behalf of the parliamentary service commission staff of parliament and indeed on my own behalf i wish to take this opportunity to honor his legacy of diligent leadership we sincerely condole with the family and friends of our late brother honorable justice murunga his distinguished constituents of matungu his friends and indeed the people of kenya for the loss of this great legislature at this trying moment as a commission we assure the family of our support during this period of great sorrow May the almighty God continue to grant you peace and comfort and comfort even as you lay him to rest today. This message is signed by my chairman in the, at the commission the honorable of uh, justice Justin Muturi 
Chairman, Parliamentary Service Commission, and Speaker of the National Assembly. May God bless you all. Asante sana, Mwishimiwa Khaniri. Uh, nilikuwa nimesahau kumtambua Attorney General. Mwishimiwa Amos Wako. He the senior most senator. Pale katika Senate, nilikuwa nimesahau kumtambua na nakuja hacha tosa siyezi mkataza. Uyu Amos Wako nilimsoma kama niko class 2 katika GHC. Nilikuwa nasema, wanasema the parliament consists of the president, the speaker, members of national assembly, and Amos Wako. Ndiyo uyu, zasa hacha yaseme mwenyewe. Wajane, watoto, wa Honorable Justice MP wa hapa, Mr. Deputy President, William Samoe Ruto, ambaye mimi ni headman wake, Uko Karen, <laughs> Wikilif Musalia Mudavadi, Former, pre, former Vice pre, President, former Deputy Prime Minister, leader of ANC, Honorable Wick, eh, Wetangula Masika Wikilif, leader of Ford Kenya, and Parliament, please recognize me. I'm here. And I have in your eye, Lusaka. I'm very pleased to see you. My, my party leader, former Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya, currently holding some high position in the African Union. A person who has been in the first, second, and third liberation in Kenya. As your member, I welcome you here. And I believe that uh, one of your relatives at one time was in the court of Mumia here many years ago as a, as a sergeant at arms, I don't know. The governor, soon to be doctor, Oparanya, governor of the county of Kakamega and chairman of the council of governors. My fellow members of parliament, what to Matunga, Matungu, what to Matungu, Murembe, Murembe Handi, Murembe Janyasai. Mimi iko hapa, watu wanasema mimi ni mzee, bimi si mzee sana. Ati walikuwa kwa form 2 when I was already attorney general. Lakini na yonekana na muna hiyo? Si yonekana na muna hiyo. At the time I came in, watu walikuwa nasumusa maneno ya wivo tear gas. We were something, we were something. And then mingina kasema kuamba lazima kwa hawa watu kutoka lazima ngombe arubaini na bili si kusifanya nini si vike hapa, isn't it? Uko kwetu bukhayo ngombe tatu ina inatosha. Lakini hapa ni arubaini na bili Na nime, nile oona hapa, nikasema kuamba wanatosha. Ngombe, ishiri, arubaina nambi? Nambili. I did not know the Mwesimiwa who has passed on very well. I must admit, because mimi ni Senate na yeni National Assembly. But I can tell you that about three weeks ago, he came 
and said, Mr. Wako, we are one of our leaders here, and I want you to know me well. And I hope that after BBI, we shall have more time to talk. That's what he told me. Then as we are discussing, Nikaona Kwamba, Uini Muta Mbaya Napenda, Watu Matungu, Upendo Adati. Because Ababu, he told me, but now I can tell you, if you see me here and there, here and there, just know I'm here and there because Ababu Natafuta. Natafuta money, Natafuta what to find a project, Uko Matungu. Because Yangu, for the, on behalf of the people who have elected me for the first time, in these five years, I really want to do a lot in Matungu. And when he was elected, he visited a number of doors in government, but they were not opening. But then he visited one door, and things opened. And I believe he was referring to the deputy president. And since that time, he has brought a lot of development uh, in this area. So, what to Matungu? Mepoteza kiongozi ambaye alikuwa anampenda sana, sana, sana. Sikia, jane, kasema hivi atu yake, atajaribu. Sikia, my name is Eugene. Kasema kuamba, yes, yuma enoyote. Ambayo, the deputy leader was Senate, minority. Amiosema hapa ambaye pia ni, ni Senate. Senator Wakaka Mega. Hiyo maneno yote ambayo alisema mimi kama mzee wa Senate, naunga mko. Naunga nini? Hile maneno yote ambayo George Haniri, Senator mwingine, ambaye alisema hapa, mimi kama mzee wa Senate, Naunga dini. Maneno yote ambayo masika wetangula. Atasema hapa kwa sababu yeye ni member wa Senate taunga nini? Taunga muko. <laughs> Maneno ambayo wiki ndifu msali ya mudavati atasema hapa Tazawa wye ndugu yangu taunga muko. Maneno yote ambayo Raila tatema hapa ntaunga muko. Maneno yote ambayo Samuel Ruta atasema hapa ntaunga muko. Sasa mimi kama muze. Mimi kama muze. Na waunga muko. Asante. Aya. Mweshimiwa Amos wako That is now a typical example of who a lawyer is Yeah, wa lawyer wanaunganga kila mtu mkono Kwa hapa kwa county na tutaki na sisi tunasema asante sana na kabla sijaendelea nataka women caucus msimame wa mama 
naona mama county wa Vihiga mama county wa Tranzoia uh, nominated uh, Petronila nominated, nominated Signal mama county wa Bungoma unajua mama saa nyingine tunasaulika kwa hivyo tukipenyea kidogo lazima tuonekane mrembe boss mrembe hand mimi pia nataka kushukuru watu wa matungu kwa kuchagua kiongozi mwenye alikuwa anafanya kazi na sisi wote kwa, kwa national assembly ni, tuko na wabunge 12 na wananiheshimu kama mama na ye pia alikuwa ananiheshimu sana na mimi naomba watu wa matungu mchague kiongozi mwenye atakuwa kama huyu mheshimiwa Murunga lakini ile kitu ilinishangaza Jumapili kama mwili wa Murunga inaenda Nairobi kulikuwa na wale kwa WhatsApp washaweka picha wanataka kwa MP Shame on you Shame on you Sisi tunasema hivi tungoje mheshimiwa alazwe mahali pake pema peponi parliament itatangaza na ikimaliza kutangaza basi wata, wa, wenye wanataka watagombania kiti ama namna gani na mimi kama mama nikimalizia nataka kusema ya kwamba watu waombe huku western kila breaking news inatoka kakamega kila breaking news inatoka bungoma na tranzoia the whole of western breaking news ilikuwa mp ameenda ingine jana tena tumepoteza mp mwingine Another breaking news tukapoteza watu wetu wengi kwa covid tulipoteza chief of staff kwa ofisi ya governor tukapoteza tena eh, madaktari wengi sana kwa hivyo mtuweke kwa maombi na nikimalizia nataka kuambia wale wajane tuko na wajane wawili tuko na Christabel na tuko na Grace na nafikiri hakuonekana hapa kwa maana alikuwa anashughulikia mwili yeye ndiye alikuwa na mwili ikitoka e, lugari na sasa wako kwa boma mimi nataka kuambia ya kwamba ile jembe wote mlikuwa mmelima sasa hakuna sasa ile iko mshikane pamoja watoto wa marehemu wasome ndio utapata hata senator atatoka pale utapata mbunge atatoka pale kwa hivyo mshikane kabisa na mimi namshukuru kwa maana kwa komitii mlikiwa sawa na pia mimi nataka mjue ya kwamba sisi wabunge pia wabunge wote wa Kenya wali donate over 4 million shillings kwa hii matanga tusikae tu kama sisi hatufanyi kitu na hiyo pesa e, iko kwa wajane watapewa tukimaliza matanga asanteni sana Mungu aweke mbunge mahali pema peponi asante uh, mmesikia kwamba wabunge wote wa Senate na National Assembly wamechanga karibu milioni nne. sio pesa ya kutayarisha matanga bali ni sadaka tu ambayo tutapeana baada ya matanga sasa Rashid mambo ya omboto nini ujue tumejipanga tuko sawa ajue na mumeona ile parliamentary service commission ile maneno ambayo imefanya na ile budgets ambazo zimetumia hapa mheshimiwa Khaniri amesoma na nikifikiri watu wote ambao walidhania wabunge wajafanya kitu wamesikia kwa hiyo hotuba ya mheshimiwa Khaniri ni vile tu alisoma kwa kizungu sasa sijui kama kila mtu alisikia haya ningependa sasa kwa sababu nimeambiwa naibu wa rais anatoka na anaenda mali pengine nataka program iende haraka na ningependa kumuita gavana wa kaunti ya Bungoma bwana Wangamati akuje alafu ndio tuende kwa speaker wa senate tafadhali please kwa sababu ya muda ya yeah? okay ah, nimeambiwa kwamba ni governor ndio nafaa ite governor eh hey, hii ma governor mna maneno sana na sasa mwananchi wa kawaida kikuita utaenda kweli? Sasa kwa sababu protocol yenu ya gavana imesema kwamba mimi ni karibisha yeye lakini ningependa kabla nitoke nitambue nilikuwa nataka kumtambua special way nitambue speaker 
wa bunge la senate bwana Ken Lusaka ako na sisi hapa na i pledge my loyalty nikifika kwa bunge usinipige viboko useme kwamba nilisahau kukutambua so ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kwa mara nyingine kuwashukuru nyinyi wote kusaidia matanga haya na kumon mheshimiwa Murunga na mheshimiwa governor mambo ya BBI tumekuachia ukuja utuambie tume tusome tusikie utuambie mwelekeo ni nini lakini sisi kama chama cha ANC tulikubaliana ya kwamba tumesoma yale marekebisho ambayo yamekuwa published na sasa hivi tunaunga BBI mkono ni afadhali tuwe na msimamo na msimamo wetu ni kwamba tunaunga BBI mkono so i want to challenge rafiki yangu hasla pia leo make a decision utuambie kama unaunga ama unapinga kizungu kizungu ndio eh tafadhali leo tafadhali tupatie mwelekeo hatutaki tukue katikati tunataka tupatiane clear direction as to whether mnaunga mkono ama mnapinga thank you governor wickliff ambetsa oparanya karibu kabisa Wanainji ya mjambo Mlembe bosi Mlembe handi Mlembe jomrunga Basi wajane na familia ya mweshimiwa mrunga The deputy president of the Republic of Kenya The former prime minister Ndugu yangu Musalia na wetangula na speaker wa senate na wananchi wote mimi yangu kwanza nataka wale ambao wametoka wame nje ya kaunti ya Kakamega ni mkaribishe hapa najua wengi wenu mlikuja hapa mapema kabisa kuanzia saa tatu wale wabunga ambao walikuwa Kisumu walikuwa wamefika hapa na wamekaa kwa makini kabisa kwa hii masaa yote ambayo tumekuwa hapa so nyinyi wote na mshukuru kabisa na mjue ya kwamba sisi tumekuwa na ujungu mwingi kabisa aswa kumpotesa mmoja wetu kwa sababu mheshimiwa Murunga alikuwa kiongozi katika matungu na pia akiwa kiongozi katika kaunti ya Kakamega na kwa Kenya jumla kifo chake kimekurudisha nyuma kabisa watu wa Kakamega niliposikia kifo chake kupitia kwa bwana Washiali nikiwa Nairobi nilikuwa na usuni mwingi na nikasema tufanyie pamoja hata nikaambia Washiali sioni maana ya mheshimiwa Murunga kwenda Nairobi kwa Lifin Roll Home nuta tuna Finroll pala hapa Kakamega najua wengi wenu wengine mjapata nafasi ya kuwa kwenda pale hiyo funeral pala ya kakamega hata ni, ni nzuri kabisa kuliko ile ya living roll home nataka mupitie huko siku moja ndio mwenyewe muone lakini wakati nilisikia huo ulikuwa mpango wa parliamentary service commission which is the employer of Murunga nikasema haya hayo ni wawachie kwa sababu hao pia wana policies zao waendelee kufanya vile wa, wanataka na nikasema tuwe na kamati hapa ambayo itahusisha watu wangu wa county na wale county administrator walikuwa hapa kutengeneza matanga hapa nyumbani na kule Nairobi tulikuwa tunaongea karibu sana na mwenyekiti ya kamati ya kule bwana 
wangwe tulikuwa pamoja tukaenda hata kwa boma ya mheshimiwa Murunga nikakutana na wajana wake sisi tuna uzuni mwingi na shukrani tu kwa wale ambao mumeweza kuja hapa haswa viongozi ambao wametoka nje ya kaunti yetu haswa deputy president na former prime minister Raila Molodinga asandeni kabisa tumeongea ha, wameongea hapa mambo mengi wale walikuwa mbele yangu mambo mengi waliongea mazuri lakini kitu ya muhimu ni ile kazi bwana Murunga alifanya mnaona mwisho mwisho yake akiugua lakini alikuwa anaongea mambo ya maendeleo alikuwa anaongea mambo ya TTC mambo ya medical school mambo ya Kibabi University paka mwisho kwa sababu ukiwa kiongozi hakuna mambo yote ambayo unaweza kufanyia watu ni maendeleo kupatilisha maisha yao ni umrunga alikuwa mstari wa mbele kwa mambo haya ndio kwa sababu nilisema hapa awali tumepoteza kiongozi ambaye alikuwa karibu kabisa na watu wake hapa matungu na wale watu wa kakamega ningeomba tu mwenyezi Mungu amweke malipe mapeponi hiyo ndio njia ya kila mtu sisi zote hiyo ndio njia yetu siku ndio hatujui lakini ningeomba tu Mungu amweke malipe mapeponi mpaka siku ile wanasema ukienda huko naweza kukutana sijui nani alienda huko akarudi na akasema walikutana lakini ndio wanasema wa Kristo wako hapa bas nina jambo moja ambaye na, nataka niseme hapa aswa lile jambo la mumias vile mnajua mimi nilikuwa co-chair wa ile task force ya, ya mambo ya sukari na hiyo task force tulikaa mikutano sitini na ine na tukatoa report tukapeleka kwa serikali na serikali ikasema itatekeleza yale mapendekezo ambayo tulikuwa tumeweka katika hiyo report na waje niseme hapa serikali imeenda hatua imeenda hatua na mimi nilisema mambo ya sukari sasa kuna yule mtu yoyote ambaye anajua kuliko mimi kwa sababu nilikuwa kwa hiyo task force sile shida sote za wakulima sile shida zote ambazo milas walikuwa wanapitia na wale watu wengi wachikatao katika hiyo sekta na sijua na mahali tumefika nina hakika tutafufua hii kiwanda ya mumias na sitaki niseme tumefika wapi kwa sababu kitu inaweza kutokea lakini mbele yenu tukiwa na deputy president hapa na mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga na rais wanajua mahali tumefika ma, mambo ya mumias so be patient tutakuja tuseme ndio hapa tumefika kwa sababu tunataka suluhisho la kudumu kwa sababu tukifanya mamba hala hala itakuwa tena turudi mahali tuko sahi mambo ya BBI mnajua msimamo wangu na huyo msimamo tulichukua siku ya kwanza kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa na nafasi ya kusoma ile report yale mikutano yote ambayo ilifanyika kwa mambo ya BBI mimi nilihudhuria hizo mkutano zote kuanzia KC mpaka kule Mombasa na nimechukua hiyo msimamo ningeomba ikifika wakati huo basi tutaongea mambo ya BBI lakini huo ndio msimamo wangu katika kama kiongozi wenu hapa Kakamega ningetaka tu kwa sababu senator ni ndugu yetu ako hapa afanye tu jambo kwa sababu yuko hapa 
Yeah. Na nina deputy uh, deputy governor ambaye ameenda nje kidogo kwe, kuweka Mr. kiongozi wa NC Senator wa Bungoma Speaker wa Senate na wabunge wote na wana matungu bwana asifiwe God is good and all the time Pia nimekuja hapa kama governor wa Jimbo la Bungoma kutoa pole zangu kwa familia ya mheshimiwa Mrunga pia mimi nilikuwa nimemjua vizuri sana na pia sisi wakazi wa Bungoma tulikuwa tunajua yeye pia ni resident wetu huko Bungoma na nimekuja hapa pia kusema kuwa mheshimiwa Mrunga was one of the most focused leaders or members of parliament that you have had in this region. Na mimi kwa niaba yangu, kwa niaba ya familia yangu, kwa niaba ya Bungoma County, kwa niaba ya serikali yangu nimekuja hapa kutoa pole zangu. La pili pia nataka kushukuru wake wake Grace na Grisabel. Nilikuwa nimeketi hapo chini Mheshimiwa wa Deputy President nikiongea na Senator Malala kwa sababu hawa wake wake when I was listening to the kids speak walisimama na Mheshimiwa Mrunga wakati hakuwa na chochote lazima tuwapongeze kwa sababu walisimama na ye when he was not yet even a member of parliament juzi tumekuwa hapa matanga na mambo ilikuwa mengine hapa la tatu na la mwisho nimeona tukiongea maneno ya uongozi katika Western Kenya na yeye nataka kusema without any fear of contradiction that hakuna mtu atakuachia uongozi leaders emerge in this country hawa wanaume ukiona Raila Amolo Odinga He emerged. Nobody in Nyanza sat akasema Raila Amolo Odinga aende mbele akuwe kiongozi ya Nyanza. Yeye alipigana vita zake, akapigana na kina Nyangnyung, akapigana na kina na kina Orengo and then he emerged as a leader in that region. <laughs> Mheshimiwa William Samoe Ruto. He emerged. Hata alienda against the former the late for, uh, president uh, Moi aliangusha wanaume huko Rift Valley and he emerged hata hapa western wacha tuseme ukweli wacha tuseme ukweli a leader must emerge mambo ya kusema to kwani siku hizi hatuchukue msalia uchukue oparanya atuoe pamoja wakae atuamue watu wanatafuta msichana mmoja unaweza kaa pamoja akaamua hello we expect and i want to say this in the in western kenya a leader must emerge asanteni sana na mungu awabariki Asante bwana Wangamati nataka nimtambue Sabula mheshimiwa Sabula vile mnajua mwili wa marehemu ulipitia kule kwake sasa alikuwa kule kupokea mwili aje hapa haraka aseme vile mlikuwa kule Asante sana mheshimiwa gavana Oparanya. I will not go to protocols viongozi wote na marafiki wa mheshimiwa Murunga bwana asifiwe nyote. 
Bwana asifiwe nyote. Mimi leo ni maamuka saa 11 asubuhi kumkaribisha mwili wa Mheshimiwa Murunga kule Lugari. Na unajua kimile ya Waluya Mheshimiwa Murunga alikuwa amekataa kuja huku. Ndege ile imebeba Murunga kutoka Wilson Airport ikakosa coordinates ikapotea ikaingia Lugari Forest ndani. Mwili ikaland Lugari Forest. For two hours imekuwa Lugari Forest ndani tukapatia na new coordinates. The Savala Primary School ndio pilot akaland safely pale. Tumekaribisha mwili tukoomba na watu wa Lugari nimelete mwili ha uko hapa. Ule mama mkubwa wa Lugari tukaongea naye tukamwambia kubali Bwana azikwe matungu kwa sababu tupatie familia washitete heshima. Nimefanya vizuri. Nimefanya vizuri. Na kama tumepatia familia washitete heshima. Watu wa matungu naomba kwa roho safi. Safari kwa mikilia saisi ya mtunga murunga inasema mteja uliompigia hatapatikana tena. Mimi naomba watu wa matungu hiki kiti cha murunga kilikuwa cha chama cha ANC. Kwa niaba ya murunga tupatie chama cha ANC hii kiti amalizie muda wake. Wangapi wanakubali kupatia murunga salamu ya mwisho? Kwa hivyo mimi sitakuwa na mengi. Murunga alijaribu siasa kule Lugari, alisimama kiti cha ukansola 2007 akaangushwa na MC Makapila tumetembea naye kwa hapa lakini akarudi nyumbani vile alirudi nyumbani akafaidika watu wa matungu akampatia kiti wale viongozi national mko hapa gavana yuko hapa paranya na kuheshimu Moses Wetangula uko hapa na kuheshimu Lusaka na kuheshimu Mudavadi uko hapa na kuheshimu Deputy President uko hapa na kuheshimu Raila Amolo Odinga na handshake yako na uhuru na kuheshimu nyinyi muturudishie mumia sugar ili murunga akiamuka kwa kaburi akienda mbinguni apate mumia sugar inawaka asanteni na Mungu wabariki eh nataka ni mtambue mheshimiwa Sifuna Sifuna yuko hapa ni secretary general wa ODM. Nao nataka ni muite ndugu yangu Moses Wetangula alete bandera zake. Bandu befwe mulembe Mulembe swa Mulembe te Mulembe mia Muli moyo Tunasimama hapa mbele yenu itikadi zote zikizingatiwa nikitambua Deputy President Prime Minister ndugu yangu Msalia Speaker my colleagues senators na viongozi wote ambao mko hapa Tumekuja hapa kumzika mmoja wa shujaa wetu Justus Murunga Grow up in Bungoma Unajua wakati ule Chief King Mumia Konga at the hall of Mlembe Nation akatuma watu wake kutawala mpaka kule vihiga paka kule upande wa butere na kule bungoma alituma ndugu yake anaitwa Murunga yeye ndiye alitutawala kule kimilili na mnakumbuka kuna mbunge alikuwa anaitwa Suleiman Murunga wanafanana na justice unafikiri ni mapacha wao wanatoka ukoo moja wa ule murunga alitumwa na nabongo mumia kutawala kule kimilili ndivyo mmelezwa murunga alisomea kimilili akaenda kamsinga 
na akakuwa kiongozi vile tunamzika leo mimi na mheshimu sana huyu hayati kwa sababu kati yetu yeye amewahi kuita mimi na Musalia na kutununulia lunch na kutuambia ndugu zangu you are my big brothers don't let us down very few people have done that na yeye hakusimama kujigamba alifanya tu akiwa a patriotic son of the Mlembe nation Murunga amekuwa anakuja mpaka kwangu to sit down with him and talk na yale mambo yote ametuambia tutazingatia because we come here today tukizika Murunga mnajua pia mbunge wangu mwenye huu pikia kura James Lusweti Mukwe alilala jana pigo kubwa sana kwa Mlembe Nation to lose your top leaders two at a go not to mention wale madaktari wamekuva kwa covid wengi wanatoka kwa Mlembe Nation Dorin Lugalik Dr Inyangala Dr Alusiola Dr Isi my classmate na wengine sasa tukiwa hapa as a nation of Mlembe we mourn with our own and in doing so na waomba ndugu zangu tukiwa hapa leo mwelekeo wetu wananchi wetu muangalie kule weta na msalia wako mnajua hiyo ndiyo njia ile maneno tulisema kwa bibi ai kakamega tuliwaambia bandu befwe mwikala meso walomu fuvi walome lana alia mwikala meso huvela efwe walisianja marendi bandu vecha angabusa kubaki nila kupachi mbi kuchaka neba rekuka neba mule kamwe mile vsa omuri this time round nataka kuwa shaori jamia mlembe the issue as to whether we support BBI or not is academic because you know we do so mutu asikuja kutuambia i support BBI that we have said many times what you should be thinking today what you should be thinking today as the mlembe nation post bbi where do we stand katika ile bbi ikipita watu wa mlembe kwa hiyo meza wako wapi mtakuwa wapi and that will only happen watu wetu if you stand together mukikawanya vipande sita your strength weakens six times ndio mimi na msalia tumesema as we look to the future we shall actualize what we have been saying in matungu and in kabchai mimi na msalia hatutakuja hapa kumenyana mierega kwa sababu ya matungu hatutaenda kumenyana mierega kwa sababu ya kabchai tutatembea pamoja na bandu befwe bali si visi visi bole la mwene si visi bole la nanu omwene ne namu bole la khanil le molund omundu akaba na akuleka sekengira munji mwoka akwa basi lo mukazi kuituruma wapa chimbi tawo Ah khabana wi khweselasi ne wi yamba lwe hunungo Leo tuna muzika shuja murunga we want to live by his ideals Ndugu yangu David President you are a very frequent visitor to this region Sisi kama 
viongozi wa area hii ukiangalia factory yetu ya Mumias imekufa Nzoya iko mahututi ukiangalia malaba malakisi ilikufa pamba yetu hakuna pan pepper iliuzwa zote zimeenda tafadhali in the final years of your government you have one budget to go please put some money to revive mumias to save the economy of our people please put some money in zoya to save the economy of our people and we have said and i want to repeat as i go to sit down our viongozi hao naona hawata kubali kuleta mtu mwenye hatujui hata akiwa na mali na mna gani hata anakuja kulisi nzo ya sugar company hata anakuja kulisi mumias we want to define the interests of the people of this region agriculture is 100% devolved hand over mumias to kakamega county let them look for strategic investor hand over nzoya to bungoma county we shall get a strategic investor but to bring us mysterious tycoons to bring us mysterious tycoons in the name of leasing our factories kwani wandu befu wa mundu na alise factory yo for 25 years isn't that a sell 25 years who will be here among us wengi tutakuwa tumeenda so kumali laone kubola kuli wandu befu we enda ya mulembe mwikale mesu wandu befu we enda ya mulembe mulole lele bweni wandu befu we enda ya mulembe mulole lele nyumu wandu befu we enda ya mulembe mumanye muli siku mola siku luma murio muno aya i should request deputy president wants to go somewhere before he goes back to Nairobi. So I request those remaining, if you can be to the point. Mweshimiwa Musali Yamudabadi, Karibu. Asante sana. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Kuna mambo hapa matungu leo. Mambo Mambo ni ajabu. Hawa ni watu ma elf na ma elf. Aya. Kwa familia ya marehemu Justice Makoha Murunga na watu wa matungu wote na watu wa Kakamega County na watu wa Western Kenya Deputy President Mheshimiwa William Samoei Ruto Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga ambaye pia ni party leader wa ODM Magavana wetu senator na wabunge ambao wako hapa na mwenzangu Moses Watangula kwanza kwangu binafsi na kwa binafsi ya chama cha ANC tunasimama hapa matungu siku hii kusema pole kwa familia pole kwa watu wa matungu na tena sisi kama ANC tunaombeleza kwa sababu tumepoteza mmoja wetu. Tunaomba Mungu arehemu familia na arehemu watu wa matungu na wa Kenya kwa kijumla. Hii ni pigo kubwa 
na wale wote wamezungumzia kuhusu justice wamesema vile wale mmjua mimi kama kiongozi wa ANC nataka tu niseme hivi Mheshimiwa Murunga alikuwa mtu ambaye hauwezi ukachezea Mheshimiwa Murunga ikiwa kuna mjadala na we uko hapo na labda neno lako haliingii vizuri yani you are not making logic or you are not being logical ka chonjo kwa sababu unaweza pokea kofi Kwa hivyo kwa kifupi vile nilisema kule St Stephen's nilisema Murunga was positively aggressive when he was committed to something he was positively aggressive and purposefully aggressive because there are some people who can be aggressive but they have no purpose wanakuwa tu aggressive lakini hawajui wanaelekea wapi and for what purpose lakini murunga was positively and purposely aggressive kushika maendeleo ya watu wa matungo so we come here with all due respect to say matungo has lost a good person and i plead to the people of matungo please as we mourn start reflecting because choices matter choices matter mtafute kiongozi pole pole kwa heshima ya murunga na kwa heshima ya watu wa kakamega na matungu tafadhali wakati wa kuamua mtu asije kule ambayo hana purpose that is my wish and my request to the people of matungu jambo langu la pili nataka tu niseme sisi kama ANC tulikuwa na tashawishi kwa mambo kadhaa kuhusu report ya BBI tukazungumza vipengele kadhaa vikabadilishwa tukakaa tena kama wanachama wa ANC na hatimaye tukasema sasa baada ya yale ambayo yamerekebishwa sisi hatuna shida sasa tuunge BBI tuende mbele na mimi nasema hivyo kwa sababu kwa kiluya kuna kile kitu wanaita kwa kimombo it's a boil dibimba eh Liku, likure na sisi tunaita disungure eh boil ni kama mambo mabaya yamekuwa yakiingia kwa mwili wako na inafika pahali ni lazima utoe hiyo boil ndio ujisikie vizuri sisi tunasema hivi tulijua kwamba BBI lengo ni kutoa ile hasira huwa baada ya uchaguzi na mambo mengine mmoja wa architect wa BBI yuko hapa mheshimiwa Raila atasema lakini hiyo sasa imefika wakati the boil has matured irivimba dia kenga dienjere genya ha hunyaruri it is time now to get that boil burst and squeeze the pass out so that we can heal and we can move ahead for as a country hiyo ndio message yangu na mimi nataka nishikilie pahali viongozi wamesema hapa we don't want multiple boils na mimi naomba ndugu deputy president he boil ni chungu Tusingoje tena tusongeshe until 2022. Tufinye hii boil ikwishe tuanze mambo mengine. Kwa sababu tutashikwa na multiple boils. 
Tuko na boil hii ya BBI tufinye itoke. Lakini kuna boil ingine kubwa ya uchumi. Hiyo hata si boil sijui hiyo ni kitu gani. Hiyo ni kubwa. Mimi nimekuwa mmoja wa wale nikisema kwamba madeni yanatufinya. Na we shall be caught up in a debt trap. From 2015 nilikuwa nasema hivyo, watu wakasema ni mchezo. Now the minister for treasury Yatani anakubali we are in a thick situation. Tuko kwa tabu. Munazunguza we want to revive Mumias. Let me tell you from where I sit and from where I'm standing. If we do not tackle this huge national debt, we are not going to open Mumias. I'm telling you the truth. Kwa sababu zile pesa ambazo tunasema vile weta amesema kwamba ziwe kwa budget unless we have a way of addressing the national debt issue there shall be no money to be set aside kwa mambo ya ku revive mumias so we have a herculean task as a nation na ndio kwa sababu mimi nasimama hapa nikisema the time for lies is over wakati wa porojo is over This is not time to tell people that everything is all right. It is not. It is not. And the more we prolong something, the more we delay the process of recovery. BBI for two years. Now we are entering the third year. If we prolong this thing again, we are delaying the process of economic recovery. Mimi nataka tufike tukiingia 2022. Mimi I should be selling what is my agenda for the people of Kenya when I'm seeking the presidency. And anybody else who is seeking should be telling the people this is what I'm seeking for Kenya. Whether it is deputy president, whether it is Mheshimiwa Raila or anybody else. Whoever is there. Let us finish this debate. Because we are causing confusion to investors. We are delaying investors. We are making them uncertain. They don't know where this thing is going to go. For how long are we going to delay them? Let us get rid of this uncertainty. Let us bust the boil. Let us bust the boil. Hiyo boil ikiwa chungu na baridi ingie. Hata ukijaribu kufanya tu kidogo hivi inakuwa painful. So let us bust the boil. And who is going to bust the boil? The Kenyans. They will vote yes or they will vote no. But we cannot continue prolonging this debate. If you are to ask me, hata mimi nimechoka kuzunguza mambo ya BBI. So let us bust it. Let us bust it. Let us bust it. Tufinye hii kitu. Mambo ikuishe. Tuanze kutembea kama wa Kenya. Na tutoe agenda mpya. This is the message I'm putting across. Kwa hivyo bwana deputy president. Eh? Wewe ukikaa kwa boil hapo hautakaa vizuri. Let us bust this thing. Kwa hivyo mimi namalizia nikisema let us move as a nation let us work together let us work for the interests of this country and i'm sure we shall succeed but as, as i speak again let me remind you agenda number one, the economy agenda number two, the economy agenda number three, the economy god bless you all and may murunga rest properly in heaven asante Ay, asante sana. Weta said something. I stand with Weta. Let us unite the people of Matungu and let us unite the people of Kabuchai. Let us remove too much conflict. Let us work together. COVID is with us. COVID can destroy us. 
Let us be our brother's keeper. Let us work together. God bless you all. I, uh, speaker was Senate. Okay, order. Familia ya mweshimiwa Justice Murunga, kanisa letu la SK, kwa sababu mimi ni moja wao, mweshimiwa naibu wa Rais, Dr. William Ruto, mweshimiwa Prime Minister Raila Molo Dinga, Your Excellencies the Governors amba wako hapa, Mweshimiwa wabunge, masene tazamba wako hapa Mimi pia nitachukua muda mfupi sana Kwanza ni kuleta rambi rambi Kwa familia ya mweshimiwa Nilimjua wakati tulikuwa tunatembea humu humu Asa tukiwa na mweshimiwa naibu wa rais We moved a lot Na vile mmeambiwa Pia amelelewa kule upande wa kimilili Kwa hivyo kwa wakati nimesikia Hame tumempoteza ilikuwa ni muhimu ni kuja hapa najua mwenzangu alitumana message lakini mimi licha ya kuwa speaker wa bunge la senate ya Kenya lakini pia natoka hapa kwa hivyo nimempoteza ndugu yangu na nimekuja kusema pole na kusimamia kusimama na familia na unajua wamba speaker hawana mambo mengi ya pili nataka tu niwaulize viongozi wetu naona tuko hapa sisi wote kutoka upande huu wa western let us support our leaders let us support our leaders. Leaders, people invest in leadership. Ata wala ambao wana emerge kuwa leaders, they must be supported, they should not be undermined. Nikiangali hapa, unaona, there are a lot of CVs. Tuko na masivis mingi sana. Let us learn to support. Kila watu wako na leaders wao. Kama mweshimua naibu wa rais huko Rift Valley, hakisema tupinduke, wanapinduka. Mweshimua raila nyanza, hakisema tupinduke, wanapinduka. Mweshimua uhuru kenyata kula kisema tupinduke wanapinduka Uikuja hapa western Ukisema pinduka Kila mtu anajua Kila mtu ni mjuaji Ukisema tupinduke wanazema tupinduke kwa nini Lakini hawa kisema tupinduke wanapinduka lava Wanauliza kwa nini tumepinduka My brothers and sisters Let us learn to nurture leaders Let us learn to fanya kazi pamoja If we are united We can negotiate and get what we want but if we go individually, we will be weakened. But if we are united, we can also negotiate with those who want to form government or form government with those, form government and invite people also to negotiate with us. Mimi sina maneno mingi, sina kwa siyasa, but as a parliament, it's unfortunate we have lost two members of parliament in very quick succession. Tumepoteza mweshimiwa kabuchai na tumepoteza mweshimiwa wa hapa. Kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya bunge la senate na wamekuja hapa kwa wingi na national assembly, tumesema pole murunga, Uwende usalimie masinde muliro, mamalu wa kijana Na wengine, waambie tuko kangari kabisa Unlituwaja bato tunashikilia doria Na hiyo ni barabara yetu, wakatu wetu ukifika tutakutana Mungu wa mlaze mahali pema peponi Asante ni sana uh, We forgot to recognize MCAs Wale wako hapa, nimeona wako wengi musimame tu For recognition, MCAs Wengine kwa sababu Waliona hatu, hatu atambu wako pale, mpunge tu mkono hivi, asanteni, majority leader yuko hapa. Sasa, nataka ni mkaribishe baba. Baba, karibu, ulete rambi rambi zako. Viongozi familia ya ndugu yangu Jassas Makoha Murunga Viongozi wa kanisa wa Anglikani mimi ni mwenyewe ni akiwa Anglikani Na wananchi wote bandu bosi mrembe 
Mirembe handi. Muli moyo. Mimi nimekuja ku aga ndugu yangu. Na nimekuja hapa kama omushishe itsi. Kusema kwa heri kwa ndugu yangu. Maneno mengi yamesemwa mazuri juu ya Murunga. Ye vile mmeona hapo alianza shazo yake na Robi. Alipokuwa anakwenda kusimama na Robi kama diwani alikuja kwangu. Kwa hivyo mimi najuana na yeye kabisa. Alijaribu but mbaya hakufua dafu. Baadaye amerudi nyumbani na hapa watu wa nyumbani hapa wakamkumbuka yeye. Mlisikia mwingine alisema ati moja relative yangu moja alikuwa hapa huyo alikuwa babu yangu alikuwa anaitwa Odinga mwana wa Raila Odinga alikuwa askari wa Nabongo Mumia alifanya hapa kama askari wa Nabongo Mumia alipotoka hapa alikuja kule kwetu kule na na Kanzu akaitwa Kingi alikuwa anaitwa Odinga Kingi na mimi nimetajwa yeye kwa hivyo mimi nikiwa nyumbani naitwa Kingi kwa sababu yeye alikuwa askari wa Kingi na Bongo Mumia lakini Odinga alikuwa anakuja hapa kwa sababu gani kwa sababu ya uko wetu kule zinaitwa watu wa Sakwa Sakwa sasa wanga ukienda kule Bunyala kuna mlima naitwa mlima ya wanga god wanga kule ndio wanga alitoka alipotoka Uganda akaingia kule Bunyala alipotoka pale walikuwa watu watatu ndugu yake mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Nyadundo hawa ndio watu watiriki mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Wila wakaja Nyadundo akabaki kule Alafu wanga na wile wakaja mpaka hapa Madungu. Na wanga akawa na Bongo. Wakaishi hapa mpaka babu yetu ndiye anaitwa Matara. Akazaliwa na mama mbali alikuwa anaitwa Sakwa. Sisi kule kwetu tunaitwa watu wa Sakwa. Ukienda Bondo Sakwa. Kule Ndiyo sababu Odinga alikuwa anakuja hapa. Raila ni mwana wa Oginga. Oginga mwana wa Odinga. Odinga mwana wa Raila. Raila mwana wa Rapondi. Rapondi mwana wa Wenwa. Kuna mwana wa Molo. Molo mwana wa Wenwa. Kuna mwana wa Migono. Migono mwana wa Gola. Gola mwana wa mwana wa Nyibinya. Mwana wa Matara. Matara mwana wa wanga. Kwa hivyo nikiwa hapa mimi niko nyumbani. Hawa wanasiasa wote mimi ndio wakilaribisha hao nyumbani. Karibuni nyumbani. Mimi nasema Murunga ameenda lakini naona Murunga amewacha Murunga ingine na mambo itaendelea mbele maisha hapa itaendelea mbele tunataka kuunganisha Kenya hiyo kama kitu kimoja maana hiki Kenya imegawanyika kwa msingi ya kikabila ukitaja jina yako tu namna hii inajulikana mtu umeenda kutafana interview Ukitaja jina yako namna hii anajua tu huyu hawezi kupata hiyo. Ati huyo ni Murunga, hiyo si hapa. Huyu ni uh, 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 Mtua, hapana. Huyu ni Nyango, hapana. Na kadhalika mpaka uwe fulani bin fulani ndio unapata hiyo. 
Hii ndio Kenya ambayo tunataka kuzika kwenye kaburi la sahau. Ili tuunganishe makabila wetu wote wa Kenya wawe kama kitu kimoja. Ili tuweze kupigana na madui zingine kama ufisadi. Kama ubaguzi kama ukosefu wa kazi kwa vijana ufukara ubaguzi wa kina mama na kadhalika hiyo ndio tunataka kutatua na hii ndio sababu mambo ya handshake nilipokuja hapa nikifanya campaign niambia nyinyi tunaenda Kanan sivyo tunasema tunaenda Kanan tunaenda Kanan Nikamwambia hawa Ruto na Uhuru wao wanarudi wana huko Misri. Sisi tunaenda wapi? Lakini tulipofika katika mto Jordan tukakuta mamba pale. Na tukarudi rivers. Nikaangalia kando nikaona Uhuru pale vile vile. Nikamwambia basi tujenge madaraja ili tuvuke naye mto Jordan tuingie wapi Hiyo ndio sababu tukasema simama pande ile asimame hapa tushikane mkono Hiyo ndio maana ya hand shake ili tuweze kuunganisha kabila zote za Kenya kama kitu kimoja ili tutembee pamoja kama watu wa moja kama wa Kenya Mnakubali namna hiyo Mnataka namna hiyo hii tunasema tunataka kutembea pamoja. Kwa hivyo leo sitaki kuongea mambo ya siasa mingi zaidi. Nitakuja kuongea mimi kila mara naongea na nyinyi. Sasa leo tunakuja kusema kwa heri kwa ndugu yetu. Kimila yetu kama maiti bado hajazikwa. Huanzi kutamani bibi wengine natamama bibi ya morunga na morunga bado jazikwa hiyo si hasa sawa wacha morunga ataremshe kwanza kwa kaburi alafu baadaye tuongee juu ya urithi wa bibi ya morunga sio ni sawa sio ni sawa sisi tunasema tuko na demokrasia juzi tulikuwa na by election kule kibira Jubili waliweka mtu. Ata ANC waliweka. Ata Ford Kenya waliweka. Kwa sababu wanasema Rudi yeye msiweki hapa kwa sababu gani? Si ni demokrasia. Si wanaishi ni waamwe. Ama sivyo. Unataka namna hiyo? Tunasema Mungu amuweke moyo ya Murunga palipema peponi. Asante sana. Tafadhali sasa nataka nimkaribishe the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya Karibu Asante sana Shukrani. Waheshimiwa viongozi wenzangu. Mheshimiwa former prime minister. Mheshimiwa former vice president Musalia Mudavadi. Mheshimiwa speaker wetu wa bunge la senate. Mheshimiwa wetangula kiongozi wa Fort Kenya My brother Mheshimiwa Wycliffe Oparanya governor wa hapa Kakamega na Mheshimiwa Ngamati governor wetu wa Bungoma Maseneta mulio hapa wa bunge MCS 
ndugu wananchi wote wa matungu mrembe mrembe handi muri moyo muri baramu mwami yesu isomiwe hebu nione bwana yesu asifiwe mimi nitaongea kwa kifupi kwanza nimefika hapa kumzika rafiki yangu Jastas nataka kwanza niseme pole kwa familia mama Grace mama Christabel na watoto wake wote pamoja na jamii yake na majirani na marafiki na watu wa matungu nataka niseme poleni sana kwa kumpoteza huyu kiongozi na shujaa poleni sana huyu ndugu Justus nilimjua 1991 karibu miaka 30 iliyopita na tulikutana huko akiwa mwanachama wa YK92 siku hizo hapa katikati tumepata kuendanisha katika mambo ya siasa na wakati alichaguliwa hapa matungu na mimi nikachaguliwa kama naibu wa rais yeye akasema na muheshimu Musalia Mudabadi kiongozi wangu wa chama lakini kwa sababu wewe umechagua umechaguliwa naibu wa rais wa Kenya pia na wewe tutafanya kazi na wewe sababu hiyo na kwa sababu Justus Makoha Murunga alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alielewa uongozi na alikuwa anataka kutumikia watu waliomchagua tulianza pale 2018 tukakuja na yeye pale matungu tukafanya harambe ya kina mama na kazi ingine ambayo tulikuja pale ya mambo ya maendeleo ya matungu tukarudi hapa tena 2019 tukakuja pale mahali kunaitwa Kabukoshe kitu kama hiyo eh tukakuja pale mambo ya vijana mimi nimekuja tena hapa kwa mwaliko wa mjumbe wenu na mara ya mwisho and i think it is the last public function ile alifanya hapa matungu tulifanya na yeye kule idangalasia na sababu hiyo mimi nataka niwaambie watu wa hapa matungu poleni sana kwa kumpoteza kiongozi wenu na mimi nimefika hapa kama rafiki yake na hawa viongozi wengine ili apate heshima zake za mwisho kama kiongozi na kama shujaa wa taifa letu la Kenya Mimi nimesikia yale yamesemwa hapa kuhusu nimesikia kuna kitu inaitwa wibo Sasa hata na mimi nilipata bibi hapa likuyani lakini mimi nilikuwa na bahati si kupata buibo kwa sababu sikukuwa na ngombe 42 unajua hasa la ana ngombe nyingi nilikuwa na ngombe ine peke yake sasa buibo singe singe afford lakini sasa inaonekana kijana yangu nitampanga vizuri atavute huyu wa 42 nijue hii 42 itatoka wapi lakini kuna mambo tulikubaliana na mheshimiwa na ni lazima niseme hapa kwa sababu waswahili wanasema ahadi ndeni tulikubaliana na mheshimiwa mambo ya technical training college pale na mamali na nilimweleza ya kwamba kama CDF wataweka pesa milioni kumi sisi kama serikali tutawapatia milioni hamsini. 
Kwa hivyo namwambia ule jamaa nimeosikia akiongea hapa wa CDF mupange na yule kiongozi ambaye ata, atachukua hatamu kutoka kiongozi huyu mimi nataka niseme nitafanya kazi na yeye kutimiza yale mheshimiwa alikuwa amepanga vile vile tulikubaliana na mheshimiwa mambo ya Kenya Medical Training College na tulisema ya kwamba hiyo Technical Training College kama CDF itaweka shilingi milioni ishirini na sisi kama serikali tutaweka milioni ishirini na penda niseme hivyo ndio record iwe sawa sawa kwa CDF na kwa wale ama yule kiongozi ambaye atachukua baada yake vile vile wakati tulikuwa pale idangalasi aliniuliza barabara ya Wogalo kwenda Itangalasia kwenda Matawa mpaka Mumias Town na mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba hiyo barabara tutaweka katika mipango ya serikali kama ile zingine tumefanya hapa Kakamega County na yule ambaye atachukua hatamu ya uongozi kutoka kwake ajue ya kwamba priority ambayo iliwekwa na mheshimiwa iko pale na mwisho mheshimiwa alinialika nikuje nyumbani kwake hapa Disemba vile mlisikia msichana wake akisema tulikuwa tumepanga nikuje hapa Disemba na sikujua ya kwamba ile mwaliko mheshimiwa amenialika tulikuwa tunapanga mwaliko nitembee kwake lakini sasa imekuwa ni mwaliko huu kwa sababu imekuwa Disemba nataka niseme poleni sana lakini hata na hivyo vile mlisikia hapa alikuwa ameniuliza kwa sababu wewe unajua hii mambo ya mahasla mimi nataka ukuje ufanye harambe ya bodaboda boda ya matungu mimi nasema niko tayari mwezi wa pili ama mwezi wa tatu nitakuwa hapa kufanya kazi hiyo kwa watu wa bodaboda boda, sako ya bodaboda boda, ya hapa matungu Mwisho nimesikia yale viongozi wenzangu wamesema na kwa kweli sote tunakubaliana hatutaki tena siasa chafu ya ukabila na chuki na kutengana sisi wote tunataka kutafuta vile tunaweza kutembea pamoja kila mtu apate nafasi ya kutafuta uongozi sio kwa misingi ya kabila lakini kwa misingi ya kuwa na sera ya kubadilisha maisha ya watu wa Kenya. Na nakubaliana ya kwamba sisi wote lazima tutafute tutaenda mbele pamoja namna gani. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba kupitia kwa hiyo njia ya kuleta wa Kenya pamoja sasa tuko na mabadiliko ya katiba. Na Omwami Musalia ameniuliza nikubaliane ya kwamba hii katiba sasa tumalize haraka. Mimi sikatai. Lakini it is never too late my friends to do the right thing. Why don't we do the right thing? Sasa sasa wakati tulikuwa bomas tuliambiwa masaa imechelewa meli imengoa nanga mulango imefungwa na tukasema hii mulango itafungwa namna gani kama mambo ya senate haijashughulikiwa kama mambo ya IIBC haijasimamiwa vizuri kama yale mambo yote tulisema haijasimamiwa vizuri. Tunashukuru ya kwamba haya mambo yamerekebishwa. Si ni kweli? Lazima tuseme ukweli. Yamerekebishwa. 
lakini kama hatungesema na ile haraka mlikuwa mnatuharakisha si tungepitisha katiba mbovu sasa mi na wauliza tu kuna mambo mawili ama ni namna gani jameni kuna mambo mawili na haiwezi kuchukua mwezi haiwezi hata kuchukua wiki moja ni mambo tunaweza kutatua in one day mambo tu mangapi mawili mimi na mauliza kwa heshima kubwa tukisema ya kwamba kina mama kina elsi huyu ambaye mumemchagua hapa ati elsi msimchague ati sasa aende ateuliwe na chama sasa hata kama tunadharau hawa wananchi jameni why do we want to take the responsibility of electing women reps from the people sisi we viongozi tujipatie hiyo kazi ati twende tuchague marafiki zetu hapana wacha wacha kina mama katika bunge la kitaifa wachaguliwe na wananchi ama mnasemaje wananchi sasa si huyu elsi mlimchagua sasa imetokea nini ati inasemekana sasa hamujielewi hamuweze kuchagua why all, all we are saying let us change badala ya sisi kwenda kuteua kina mama mia moja na wacha arobaini na saba wachaguliwe na wananchi ile ingine tunaweza kwenda kuteua kama vyama it, it will not take it, it will take very little for us to agree on that jambo la pili na ninashukuru unajua eh, mimi namsalia huyu murunga alikuja kwangu akaniambia wewe huyu msalia mimi nataka mfanye kazi na yeye na hata wewe msalia unajua vile alisema na ni kweli si namna hiyo sasa jambo la pili and we are being honest we are Kenyans we want the best for all of us ama namna gani jambo la pili tumesema hawa wananchi wako na akili nimewaambia wajinga wamekwisha Kenya hakuna wajinga tena wako na akili wanaweza kuamua sisi tuwaletee maswali kwa judiciary tunataka hii mnakubali ama hamkubali watatuambia kwa senate tunataka hii mnakubali ama hamkubali watatuambia kwa ugatuzi tunataka hii mnakubali ama hamtakubali watatuambia lakini msiseme ati hawa wa Kenya watachanganyikiwa watachanganyikiwa namna gani na sisi wote hapa tumechaguliwa na hawa na mwananchi akienda kupiga kura anajua atapigia governor hawezi kuchanganyikiwa anajua atapigia senator anajua atapigia MCA anajua atapigia women rep anajua atapigia senator anajua atapigia rais sasa kama hawa wananchi wanaweza kuchagua fiti sita mara moja mnasema hawezi kujibu maswali sita mara moja ah uh, my friends tuache kudharau wananchi bwana tuweke heshima ama namna gani those are very basic things ambaye tunaweza kukubaliana one morning alafu twende sote wa Kenya hawa wataweza kuchagua vile tutaenda mbele pamoja Nimesikia malala rafiki yangu ameniambia wewe unachelewa shamambo bwana deputy president si utoe mwelekeo sasa unajua mimi ni mtu naongoza mahasla mama mboga boda boda nini watu ya wilbaro wengine wa mkokoteni hawa watu wanasema unajua kusoma kwao ni polepole so msituharakishe sana kwani haraka hii mnatuharakisha iko mko na haraka mnaenda wapi siku ile ingine mlituambia katiba ni sasa kama si sasa ni sasa hivi saa hii tena mmekuja mlango imefungwa sijui meli imengoa nanga hii haraka ya kila siku ni ya nini jamii ni situongee tu polepole tungojeane 
Ama namna gani jameni? Please, mimi na waomba kwa heshima kubwa. Mimi na waomba kwa heshima kubwa. Tuheshimiane na tuheshimu hawa wananchi. Sasa unakuja kuambia hawa tumesema yes ama tumesema no. Huyu hajasoma, ajui unasema yes nini? Ajui unasema no nini? Alafu unasema tumesema no. Hao. Sijui kama tunaelewana. Kwa hivyo mi na wauliza kwa unyenyekevu. Na mimi mi nataka niwaambie mimi si sehemu ya kwamba tupinge mambo haya hapana kwa sababu Kenya hii ni yetu. Nasema kuna vile tunaweza kurekebisha ndio wa Kenya wote watembee pamoja and I have said and I will repeat it is never too late to do the right thing. That's all we are saying. Ama namna gani jameni? Tuko pamoja? Na nasema hivyo kwa heshima kubwa. Hatutaki kuonekana ati tuna darau watu wengine. We want to move together. Sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Mimi nitarudi hapa. Mamo ya Mumias. Eh, waja niseme maneno ya Mumias. Maneno ya Mumias. Nyinyi mnajua. Mimi nimekuja hapa Mumias mara nyingi. Tulikuja hapa mara ya kwanza na rais tukalete bilion mbili ya kwanza. Tukarudi tena tukalete bilion ingine karibu mbili. Tumerudi hapa tuka appoint eh, our brother eh, Oparanya awe co-chair ya kuzungumzia haya mambo yote ya sukari. Mumesikia hatua ile imefika. Ile mimi nataka niwaambie. Sisi kama serikali ya kitaifa tumesema na nakubaliana na yale wetangula alisema tumekubaliana ya kwamba sisi tuko tayari kuhakikisha ya kwamba zile shares ya zen, ya serikali ya kitaifa ambayo iko Mumias ambayo iko eh, Sony ambayo iko hapa chini hizo shares tutapatia county ya Kakamega ile ya Kakamega na ya, ya Bungoma ile ya Bungoma bila malipo yoyote for free we want to donate those shares to the county government na vile vile tunasema county government wenyewe wajiamulie hatutaleta investor hapa county government wenyewe because eh, agriculture is devolved wako huru kuhakikisha ya kwamba wale investors wanaotaka ndio watakao pata nafasi ya kuendelea mbele mimi nataka sasa kwa heshima nisome taarifa e, mambo ya barabara nitarudia nitakuja mambo ya barabara msijali mimi nataka nisome sasa taarifa ya kiongozi wetu na rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Uhuru Kenyatta kwa familia, kwa marafiki na kwa watu wa matungu kwa kifo cha huyu shujaa. Message of condolence to the family, relatives and friends of the late Honorable Justice Makoha Murunga. It is with great grief and a deep sense of loss that I learned of the death of Honorable Justice Murunga Makoha. And I send you this message of condolence and encouragement. Although he was serving his first term as a member of parliament, Honorable Murunga had already exhibited the kind of dedicated leadership that was surely set to transform the lives of the residents of Matungu. He was a diligent, industrious servant of the people and possessed unique leadership skills that earned him support from the, his constituency and beyond. And he was also a courageous man who always stood for what he believed in, even when it was not popular. There is no doubt in my mind, the death of Honorable Murunga leaves a huge vacuum that will be hard to fill, certainly not by these few words of consolation. But as we dedicate the life of Honorable Murunga to eternal peace, let us celebrate his life. Keep his fond memories in our hearts. 
and pray to God for comfort to overcome the sadness and the pain occasioned by his departure. As Christians, let us, not com let us be comforted by the word of God in Revelation 14, 13, which says, and I quote, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Although Honorable Murunga has left us, his inspirational life will remain a great legacy to all those who knew him. We are privileged that he lived among us and we thank God for the time we shared with him. In this hour of sorrow, I convey my deepest sympathies and heartfelt condolences to Hon Murunga's family, relatives, and the people of Matungu constituency. May the Almighty God rest Honorable Justice Murunga Makoha soul in eternal peace. Signed, Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, 5th December 2020. Asante sana na mungu wa bariki. Tumefika mwisho wa meeting ya leo Sasa nataka nirudishe kwa kanisa